Let's talk about business analyst versus data analyst. In this video, I'm going to explain how these two career paths are going to look like, what skills do you need to succeed in these career paths and what to expect when you continue in that journey. I had the fortune of working as both a business analyst and a data analyst. So that puts me in a very unique position to be able to com comment on both of these career paths. To keep things simple, I got myself a data analyst hat. So when I'm wearing this hat, I'm talking as a data analyst. And when the hat is off, I'm talking myself as a business analyst. To start the story, soon after I finished my management degree in 2006, I started working as a business analyst. I was employed with the Tata Consultancy Services, one of the largest IT companies in the world and I worked there as a business analyst for almost three years. Then I left my job to focus more on my own business of Chendu.org where I was helping people, I still help people on how to use data and various other data platforms to do their job better. Between 2016 and 2022, I also happened to do a lot of data analysis work as a data analyst with many companies and government organizations here in New Zealand. So that is a little bit about my job history. So now let's talk about what is it like working as a business analyst and a data analyst. A business analyst is a person who is basically sitting between usually a business team and a technology team. So as part of my business analyst role, the five things that I would do are number one, talk to the business people. So within TCS, I was working in the insurance vertical of TCS. So that means I would talk to insurance companies and people already working in insurance companies about their specific IT needs and understand what they need. The second thing that I would do is based on what is it that they need, I would do some requirement analysis and requirement documentation. To give you an example, one of my projects involved talking to an insurance company so that we could build a insurance claim processing system for them. So I will talk to them, I'll understand how they process their claims and then I'll prepare a requirement document so that we could build a IT solution for them to handle their claims better. The third thing that I would also do is prepare some designs and mockups uh, to facilitate the requirement analysis. So usually when they say we will do, we'll take a claim and then we will enter the data and then we will decide whether to approve or disapprove it. Sometimes it is easy to talk about these things, but you're not really sure if you entirely understood what the client wants or not. So that's where a design or a mock-up would come in handy. So I would prepare some mock-up screens and things like that so that the, my clients know that, yes, this is exactly what we want. And apart from these three things, I would also prepare some test cases and scenarios so that when we deliver the IT system, we know what is it that we need to test to make sure that it is actually doing what it is supposed to do. And the fifth thing as a business analyst that I would often do is prepare business proposals, do presentations and uh, work with customers. So those are kind of like the five things that as a business analyst I was doing. And in most cases, that's pretty much what a business analyst would do about 80-85% of the time. Now let's put on the data analyst hat so that I can talk about what is it that a data analyst does. As a data analyst, you're expected to be the person in between data and usually business teams. So in a way, you are kind of like a business analyst, but the critical difference between a business analyst and a data analyst is usually business analyst would prepare some documentation as to what is required, but they are not the ones who are doing the actual work. The actual work is done by uh, software developers, and then the testing would be done by test analysts, and the overall project is maintained by the project management team. Whereas on the data analyst side, even though you are the person in between business and data teams, 
uh, you are not only expected to understand what is required but you are also expected to deliver the work so it's kind of like a mix of data and the technical skills so that's the key difference between data and business analyst now let's understand what is it that a data analyst would typically do so as a data analyst again this is based on my experiences of working in various data analysis projects as a data analyst or senior data analyst first thing that i would do is i would talk to data teams i would talk to business teams to understand what is required what is available and all of that so for example if i'm building a human resources dashboard then i would talk to the hr manager to understand what she really wants how the dashboard should look like and then i would talk to the data team and then understand what is it that they have what sort of data is available what systems are being used and then based on these two sets of information i'll then go and prepare the hr business dashboard and then building the actual report or solution itself and this is where um, i would either use excel or power bi or sas or tableau whatever may be the platform i would use that to build that solution and then i would also need to test it to make sure that it is actually producing the output and analysis that is it's supposed to do so i'll test it out with various scenarios like what if the data changes you know what if we don't have all the expected fields how is it going to react apart from these things as a business analyst you also do a little bit of mock up uh, especially to facilitate the discussions like you know you talk to a person and then they say hey we want to build an operations report or we want to understand our customer journey in the graphs then many times people don't really know how it should look like they will only know what is it that they want so it is your job as a data analyst to go and prepare some mock ups to explain oh is this what you want do you really like this view and then go and build it so those are some kind of at a high job level what is a business analyst doing and what a data analyst does now let's talk about the skills that you need to succeed as a business analyst versus as a data analyst let's go back to the business analyst because my hat is off so the skills that you primarily need as a business analyst are you need the business vertical and domain knowledge so back when i was working as a business analyst with tcs i didn't really know much about the insurance industry when i started so my first few months was really kind of like just learning about the insurance industry so i was doing some internal projects but primarily i was focusing on understanding the domain and once i had the domain knowledge and i once i built my confidence to communicate with clients then i started doing customer facing roles in various places so domain knowledge becomes really important to be a successful business analyst the second important skill that you need to possess is you need to have a good technical grasp this can come from either doing the actual technology work or being in the space of technology as an observer and as a as a learner all of this will help for me i had the advantage that i did a bachelor's in computer science engineering and i worked as a software developer for some time so i do understand how the technology side of things worked and that really helped me Uh, do a better job as a business analyst so those are two primary technology technical side of skills that you need the business and the technology skills apart from these two as a business analyst to be a very good business analyst you also need a very good level of communication skills this is because you could think of business analyst as a person who is literally standing between two teams and kind of conducting the business through them so they need to be talking to both business teams and the technology teams and because you're doing a lot of talking and communication you need to be very very good in that side of things so that means not only a written communication like emails and exchanging documents but verbal and oral communication like presentations conducting meetings conducting workshops and a deep sense of understanding and explanation of things so it is one thing to understand but you should be able to convey that when you are interfacing with another team now let's talk about the skills that you need to be a data analyst to be a good and successful data analyst you obviously need business domain skills again so you can see that there is a parallel between these two 
profiles so for example when i'm working as a data analyst here in new zealand i primarily have been working in the human resources space so i quickly developed hr related domain knowledge uh, so that i could do better job of uh, building hr related reports so whether it is recruitment uh, remuneration and benefits or negotiations whatever may be the case i started building that uh, that side of skills so apart from that you also need technical skills so that means a deep and solid understanding of the platform that is being used so whether you are using excel or power bi or tableau or databases whatever may be the ones that you are using you need to be highly proficient and confident in those platforms to be a good data analyst apart from these two things you also have need to have a good visual sense and good visual design skills so that means how do i design a report how do i design a chart how do i communicate things in a more effective and elegant manner all of those are important you do obviously need a good level of communication skills but unlike a business analyst who is primarily communicating a data analyst is kind of like 30% communication 70% actual development so even if you do not particularly enjoy that side of things like where you are always talking to people and and doing stuff you would you can succeed as a data analyst a data analyst job is kind of more suitable and enjoyable for somebody who is a little shy or introvert i am an introvert so for me i find working as a data analyst is a bit more pleasant experience than being as as a business analyst so let's talk about the career prospects for both business and data analyst roles as a business analyst my very first title or the job role was assistant business analyst and the next step for me has been business analyst and at that point i left the job but if i continued down that journey then i would have become a senior and then eventually a lead business analyst at that point normally within the it organizations there is couple of different career choices i could choose so for example i could go into the domain side and become a domain consultant and a principal consultant and eventually the head or the director of that particular domain so that was one career path i could also go more towards the business side and become a customer relationship manager or a business relationship manager uh, a business owner and then you know get into more at a director or senior executive level positions on the business side for the data analyst career paths the normal pathways are you would either start as assistant or a junior data analyst role and then get into data analyst senior data analyst and then you would become a principal data analyst at that point again you can get into more on the management of the data projects role so you could become like a data project manager or coordinator and those kind of things or you could also get into more specialist roles like a research analyst so those are uh, the career paths for both both of these these jobs both of them offer really good career prospects uh, for someone who has very good technology business and communication skills thank you so much for watching and if you want to learn a little bit more about the skills the technology skills that you need to be a good data analyst uh, then check out this video that is shown on the screen that talks about five skills that will make you a great data analyst thank you so much i'll catch you again somewhere else bye bye